Hello, my name is Rakeem Cunningham, gallery manager over at Tag Gallery in Los Angeles. And this video here is to show you guys a little bit of Katie Crown's newest solo exhibition, Really Big Drawings. Really Big Drawings was supposed to be on view from March 17th until April 11th. However, due to the circumstances that are going on right now, um, we wanted to share this video with you about her work. This newest body of work accentuates her drawing skills with subject matter jolted from her sketchbooks. And a lot of Katie's work actually deals with the anxiety of going through everyday life and how we make these coping mechanisms to deal with the stress and anxiety of everyday life. And so a lot of these drawings are filled with humor and I cannot wait for you to see them not only online but in the video and on person as well. Thanks, Rakeem. Art should be fun. And I'm hoping that these large metal drawings convey the fun spirit of a cartoon. All of these people started out as drawings of a cartoon of different social interactions. Social interactions generate so much anxiety for me. My way to cope with that is to cartoon it. Now we have this pandemic and we have the new imposed social distancing. One immediate effect was the closing of our gallery. And the closing of the gallery meant that you, the viewer, can't see this show up close, face to face. Then as the pandemic precautions continue, it prevents us from having our usual everyday social interactions. That gives us something new to ponder about the interactions of my drawings and it brings on new anxieties. More to fear, more to cartoon. This was the first piece I did and it's called Sincere. It's the most linear piece and closest to my original conception to have these so true to line that they look like drawings right on the wall. And here's the drawing that Sincere was based on. My next piece, my second piece, is called Toast. As I was making this piece, I started using more flat planes of color. It still has the lines and you can see that they're stark against the wall. But I also had the fun of juxtaposing patterned work with bright colors. And the next piece is Pickle. Here's the original drawing for Pickle. I take the original drawing and I work with a fabricator who cuts a large sheet of aluminum into an enlargement from my drawing. Then I paint it with oil-based enamel. And the finished piece is quarter inch thick aluminum that's mounted on the wall. I call these pieces metal drawings and they're based on drawings that I did from the late 1960s to the present time. Why drawings? There aren't enough shows of drawings. Drawings are so powerful. A drawing is to a painting what a seed is to a plant. My hope is that these look like wall drawings, descendants of cave drawings and petroglyphs, primal visual art, although the ancient obsession with hunting has turned into a modern obsession with social interaction. The metal cutting really stays true to my drawings too, with lines that are wobbly and imperfect and vary in width. This piece is called Jump Jive. It's really the most like my first piece, Sincere, in that they're both mainly linear with very few flat planes. Jump Jive also reveals my love of dance as a subject matter. I've got sketchbooks that are loaded with drawings of dancers. Some figures make frequent appearances, showing up in different series, like a 1990 series of dancers that I did in watercolor. Here's the drawing that Jump Jive was based on. This drawing is called Pancake. I know many of these pieces are derivative of Picasso, but whereas Picasso was painting about the horrors of the Spanish Civil War, I'm drawing about the horror of pancakes. Once you get the butter and the syrup on there, pancakes have hundreds of calories. This piece is called Downhill. Each of the pieces in this series is mounted to the wall with metal studs that hold the piece a fraction of an inch out from the wall. 
a pleasant surprise and added benefit of that is that you get these wonderful shadows coming off of them. When I named this one downhill, I realized it could be a comment on the current political situation. And that was even before the pandemic hit. Here's the drawing that it's based on. This is the final piece in the show. It's called, Suddenly and Inexplicably, a ballroom dancer entered the therapy session. Friends have told me that it reminds them of a New Yorker cartoon, and I like that. Here's the drawing it was based on. When I was in art school, one of my professors was looking through my sketchbooks at my little humorous drawings, and he said I should try to find a way that I could make them have the impact of a really large piece of art. So I've thought about that over the years. The artwork in this show came together by mixing oddball personalities from many different sketchbooks. It's been a lot of fun. And as I said, art should be fun. <laughs>